1975, we got started by my desire to have a fashion um, store that was a little bit more boutique based. We had some amazing um, stores that were here, but we never really had a boutique as such. And of course you can imagine, you know, in the 70s it was pretty trendy to um, have this sort of unique style. It was something that was quite new. Um, and my husband sold his MG and um, with that money we were able to open a small retail store in Murray Place in Dunedin. Being based here, I think, you know, let's face it, home is where the heart is, I suppose. Now that I'm like 66, it's like, actually, yeah, maybe home is where the heart is, because I know that when I travel, and I do travel to, you know, other fashion capitals in the world, there is something amazing about coming home. I think you've got to stay true to your ideals. I think the most important thing for any new designer is to establish what they want to be and how they would like to achieve that and stay committed to it without being too influenced by what's going on around them. One of the most meaningful moments for me as far as any sort of gratitude went was when my brother um, was, he had been diagnosed with cancer obviously as a, as a lot of people do and actually going to Timaru where he was living and experiencing the help of a community or at hospice I think that was an, an incredible service something that I never ever was aware of that existed and just being quite moved quite overwhelmed at, at how um, how amazing those people that were working there were and that it was all voluntary. Our employees have done some amazing work for us and I'm so grateful because I think that our business couldn't survive without those people and so I think it's being knowing that and being grateful for the fact that they actually share the same vision as, as we do and um, help to participate in the success of the brand. I'm really grateful for that. The inspiration really for the print from Grateful made us look at um, other prints that we have done um, historically. And one of our most popular and pretty much iconic um, prints for Nom D for our iconic t-shirts was taken from a collection that we did called Red in 2002, which was um, influenced by some Russian posters um, from the early 1900s. And there's a little skeleton and monster with a red hand pointing um, to each of, of those objects and my son who actually works on all the iconic t-shirts had sort of taken it apart so again it's that whole idea of taking something that you saw out there that was traditional and taking it apart and turning it into something that became non D. so um, that little guy the monster I actually shudder to think of how many t-shirts we made with that print and we're still making them today because we call all the t-shirts iconic because they never die. And so Lauren, who um, has been amazing because she's been actually now creating prints for fabrics for Nom D, actually manipulated the little monster down to being something quite childlike and and instead of the red hand, we've got a red heart. So, you know, we don't want it to be too scary on kids. They've got plenty of time later in life to be a bit dark. But yeah, so it actually looks amazing. I'm so happy with it.
It's incredible.